A fresh and striking image has just emerged, capturing what appears to be China's J-36 next-generation stealth fighter lifting off from a Chengdu test facility. The aircraft, caught midair against a dense urban skyline, showcases a polished dark airframe, with its landing gear still extended just moments after rotation. The banner below clearly reads Chengdu, leaving no ambiguity about the location. What immediately stands out is the jet's sleek blended design, its carefully aligned control surfaces, and the glowing turquoise hue on the nose section, likely a sensor or a test marking. This isn't just a speculative model anymore. This is real, and it's in flight. This image not only confirms earlier leaks and taxi tests, but also signals a major leap in China's stealth aviation capabilities. With this, we begin our deep dive into the J-36 and explore its potential impact on the next era of air power. Upon first glance at the J-36, we see that it confirms what offense experts had previously only theorized. This jet is designed for stealth from the ground up. It's smooth, Continuous body integrates the wing and fuselage into a seamless form, significantly reducing its radar cross-section. The leading edges of the wings are sharply swept back, while the trailing surfaces form a diamond-shaped platform, further enhancing its stealth capabilities. This design isn't just about radar scattering, it's also about control and agility. The aircraft is not only harder to track, but also quicker to maneuver in contested airspace, making it a more formidable adversary in any air combat scenario. Moving on to the cockpit, the J-36 features a frameless teardrop canopy, which suggests both advanced pilot visibility and a reduced radar return. The reflections seen on the canopy hint at specialized coatings, likely designed to shield internal components and the pilot's helmet from radar detection. This is not just an aesthetic choice, it is a tactical one. The slightly raised dorsal spine behind the cockpit hints at either a conformal avionics housing or an enhanced sensor suite. Both of these features are consistent with advanced fifth-generation stealth fighters. Earlier images, including a taxiing photo from Chengdu, revealed more details, such as the dual electro-optical targeting sensors mounted side by side under the nose and dorsal fairings. Although these images were grainy, they confirmed that the J-36 program was far beyond just wind tunnel models or CGI renderings. The inlets of the J-36 are S-curved and tightly molded into the lower fuselage. This design guides airflow inward while cleverly hiding the engine faces, a critical stealth feature. Their low profile makes them difficult to spot even in a direct side view, which suggests significant engineering maturity in balancing airflow with radar cross-section suppression. As is typical of modern fifth-generation fighters, the J-36 carries no visible armament. However, this is not a limitation but rather a clue. The jet likely has internal weapon bays concealed under its smooth belly, designed to house both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground munitions. This design choice ensures that the aircraft maintains its stealth profile even when armed, providing a significant tactical advantage in hostile radar environments. From the rear view of the aircraft in the recent image, we can see a three-engine layout, with a smaller central nozzle flanked by two larger, partially shrouded exhausts. Jagged serrations on all three nozzles hint at a stealth-driven design aimed at diffusing and cooling exhaust plumes, which in turn reduces the infrared signature of the jet. Speculation suggests that the WS-19 or WS-20 turbofans are likely installed in the outer positions, while a developmental WS-13X or a similar compact core engine may occupy the center. This engine configuration could potentially grant the J-36 Super Cruise capabilities, allowing it to fly at sustained speeds higher than the speed of sound without the need for afterburners. Before the airborne image, an earlier, unconfirmed photo had circulated, showing a J-36 prototype taxiing under its own power on Chengdu's tarmac. This earlier image provided clear details of its landing gear and the sensors mounted on the aircraft. While the photo was grainy, it served as the first public indication that this program had progressed well beyond the conceptual stage. Now, with the release of this new image, it is confirmed that flight trials have begun in earnest. The extended landing gear, slightly pitched nose, 
and retracted flaps all suggest that the aircraft has just left the runway. This phase of flight testing is likely focused on validating basic handling, assessing structural stress, and collecting radar cross-section data. Each sortie is shaping not just the airframe, but also the doctrine that will one day govern its use in combat. This flight marks a pivotal moment for the J-36, signaling that it is no longer a speculative project but a program that has moved into an advanced stage of development. Its implications for air strategy in the Asia-Pacific region are profound. Countries that track Chinese air power must now account for a fighter that combines stealth, endurance, and next-gen sensors. Whether for power projection in the South China Sea or as a potential counterweight to the U.S. and allied fifth-generation fleets, the J-36 could tilt the regional balance of power, albeit perhaps only slightly for the time being. The road ahead for the J-36 will likely involve weapons integration, mission simulation, electronic warfare calibration, and the development of squadron-level tactics. But what we've seen today is much more than just a static prototype. We have seen the J-36 take flight, and that tells us it is no longer a paper project. It is a program in motion. As we continue to monitor this development, expect more sightings, more data leaks, and perhaps even an official reveal. The sky just became a lot more crowded and a lot quieter on radar. Beyond the noticeable dual ETOS sensors under the nose, the J-36 likely integrates a powerful AESA radar system within its blended fuselage. This combination enables simultaneous air-to-air -air search, ground mapping, and electronic intelligence gathering, all fused into a single tactical picture. Conformal antennas along the upper fuselage further enhance situational awareness without compromising the aircraft's stealth capabilities. In modern air combat, data sharing is critical and the J-36 is equipped to excel in this area. The raised dorsal spine almost certainly houses advanced mission computers and data link radios. These systems will allow J-36 pilots to share targeting data with AWACS, UAVs, and other fighters in real time, effectively creating a distributed sensor and shooter network across the battlefield. To survive in high-threat environments, the J-36 must also be capable of jamming and countering enemy jamming. Expect an integrated ECM pod within its fuselage fairings, alongside onboard ECCM algorithms to protect its own sensors. Defensive countermeasures, such as directed infrared countermeasure lasers and expendable decoys, will complete the suite of systems designed to ensure the aircraft can operate deep within contested airspace. Stealth is not a one-time achievement. It requires continuous upkeep and maintenance. The J-30 SIXS Dark, Low observable coatings are likely composed of advanced radar absorbent materials, which will need to be maintained and repaired by specialized ground crews. These coatings will be crucial to maintaining the jet's minimal radar return and ensuring its mission effectiveness. The J-36 program will likely leverage high-fidelity simulators that replicate its stealth flight characteristics, sensor fusion displays, and data link operations. Pilots transitioning from fourth-generation platforms will undergo a phased training syllabus, starting with basic handling in a virtual environment, progressing to familiarization sorties, and eventually engaging in full mission profiles against simulated peer threats. Ground crews, too, will need to master the specifics of RAM maintenance, engine diagnostics across the three-engine layout and rapid weapons bay replenishment procedures. A robust logistics support network will be essential to ensuring that each squadron remains mission-ready. Predictive maintenance through health monitoring sensors embedded throughout the airframe will be critical to the operational readiness of the J-36. As the program moves from prototype to production, initial operational squadrons will likely be stationed within China's Western and Southern Theater commands, regions critical for power projection. Beyond its domestic service, the J-30 SIXS blend of stealth, three-engine reliability, and advanced electronics makes it an attractive export option for allied nations seeking an alternative to Western fifth-generation fighters. Potential buyers in the Asia-Pacific, Middle East, and South America will consider factors such as unit cost, life cycle support, technology transfer, and integration with existing C-4 ISR networks. Whether operating within the People's Liberation Army or Allied Air Forces, the J-36 
36 is poised to reshape both regional defense architectures and global fighter markets.